first story here, Kevin Owens will not be going anywhere anytime soon as the impending free agent has re-signed with WWE. This from WrestlingObserver.com. Fightful first reported the news. Pat LaProd confirmed. Details are light, but LaProd reported the deal is for multiple years. According to LaProd, Owens will explain the rationale for his decision in a podcast with LaProd that will drop Thursday. It was learned in September that Owens was set to become a free agent at the end of January thanks to a pre-pandemic restructuring of contracts. 37-year-old said in a May 2018 interview with LaProd that he had inked a five-year deal that ran into 2023. At one point in September, Owens had posted and then deleted a tweet of coordinates to Mount Rushmore, which fans took as a nod to a future in AEW, as the landmark shares the name of his former PWG faction with the Young Bucks and Adam Cole. He also changed his Twitter location to Almost There. Owens has been in WWE since 2014, starting in NXT, etc., etc. So anyway, listen, I don't know what Johnny Gargano is going to do, and I don't know what Kyle O'Reilly is going to do. But when we were talking about Johnny Gargano and Kyle O'Reilly, and I was talking about, you know, potential ways that you could get Johnny Gargano to stay in WWE, not the least of which would be, you know, sticking around, not going on the road, hanging around his newborn child, maybe having a talent contract and a trainer's contract. And no matter what I said, all I heard was, no, he's absolutely for sure leaving. He's absolutely going to leave. He's leaving for sure. And listen, he might leave, but... What the Kevin Owens story shows you here is I heard the same thing about Kevin Owens. He's leaving. For sure he's going. There's no chance he's staying. Well, he's staying because I know that there's this idea on the Internet that, oh, it's horrible in WWE. Oh, everyone hates the place. Everyone's going to be going to AEW if they've got any talent whatsoever. There's going to be people that are going to re-sign with WWE. There are people who like it there. There are people who are going to be made good offers, and they're going to weigh it against everything else, and they're going to decide that they want to stay with WWE. And Kevin Owens is staying, and perhaps Johnny Gargano is staying, and perhaps Kyle O'Reilly is staying. And I don't know this for sure, but wasn't Pete Dunne's deal up and he's he's still there? So it's possible he's re-signed. But I think this is a... The, the, the moral of this story is there are some people who, when they weigh their options, are going to want to stay with WWE. So that's it. That's all I got out of this. I mean, maybe there's more, but congratulations to Kevin Owens. And now he'll be main eventing the show on the 1st of January. Day yeah, one. Good for him. We'll be on day uh, one this year. Happy for him. Happy for his family. Happy that he's able to sign this deal, that he's happy where he's at and good. And I don't think Kevin Owens is the type of guy that is going to come out at any point during however the long this duration of this contract is and complains about it. Maybe he does, but I he seems to be content with his choice and good. <laughs> it's you know, I like you mentioned, you know, everybody's got different goals, everybody's got different ideas, everybody's got different lives to to, to worry about. And WWE, he has been very open about the fact that much like Eddie Kingston, you know, was he going to be able to carve out a niche for his family in this business? Was he going to be able to, to have enough money saved up? Was this going to be what was going to provide his family security? Could wrestling do that? And in WWE, he has been able to do that. And you hear stories about Daniel Bryan when people look at his creative and go, oh my God, get that guy out of there. It must have been miserable. It's terrible. They've misused him. They've done this. They've done that. And you hear about how much he's got, how much respect he has for Vince McMahon, how much he liked certain aspects about being there. So, you know, Kevin Owens the same way. And much like I mentioned about uh, Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, Kevin Owens has been a Triple H guy, you know, much like Samoa Joe was. You know, Kevin Owens always had the support of Triple H. And for those guys... 
you know, you don't know what their goals are. Do they want to be, uh, again, you know, what are his post-wrestling goals? Is there something about WWE that he wants to stay there? Be an agent, be a trainer, be an, a, a a representative of the company. You just, you just don't know what it is. And I'd be fascinated to find out later on down the road after this contract is over, or maybe even before it's over, although I don't think we'll get that, what his mentality was going into it and why he decided to make the decision that he did when he has options available to him that, of course, course obviously a lot of fans are probably disappointed today that he didn't go and take hey listen everybody i know that there have been a lot of cuts i know a lot of people have been fired i know everyone's heard about the talent budget that they have but at the end of the day yeah they cut a lot of people yeah they signed a lot of people in in 2019 and then they cut them but i can i don't want to name anyone in particular but if you look at the list of people that were cut i mean 50 percent of them were hired not because WWE wanted to do anything with them, but because they didn't want anybody going anywhere else. And while there is a budget, I mean, there's a very good chance that they could have offered, and I don't even want to throw out a number here because then somebody's going to report some stupid number on the internet as a fact, but let's just put it this way. They could have offered Kevin Owens a huge sum of money to stay with WWE, and AEW is not going to match that, and so he stayed with WWE. There are there are people, and actually most of them have been fired, but I mean, there are people that were offered contracts with WWE that WWE had no intention of ever doing anything with. Clearly, they like Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is one of their best promos. Kevin Owens never gives, and listen, I mean, I've seen some Kevin Owens matches where, in my opinion, if I were Kevin Owens, I would have given 80% and not 150%. But the fact of the matter is, he always gives 150%. So even though there is a talent budget, there will be guys like Kevin Owens where their deal comes up and they're going to be offered a lot of money to stay. And my guess is he was offered a lot of money to stay, despite this being an environment where a lot of people are getting cut. Hey, Brian, you remember the story where Canyon called you from the locker room and asked you if somebody was... Fritz. Pass. Yes! Yeah, Canyon calls me and he goes, Alvarez! He always called me Alvarez. Alvarez! I, I'm having an argument right here. Fritz von Eric, Alive or dead? And I said, I hope you get your money. It is not on speakerphone. He was just on his... And I said, I hope you get your money, but uh, he's dead. And there's a pause and then I hear, I told you he was alive! And he hung up. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.